When you open Voxel Studio, you start with an empty project. The whole interface is by default divided in four parts, but you can move and organize the lower windows in any way you want. First one is the upper banner, which basically is the main menu with all the different actions you can do within the project itself. Here is the project item list. Here are all the different elements at your disposal to compose your scene. The third one is the item properties window that displays the different values and information about your items. The right lower windows are for visuals. The render is where you can see and build your actual scene. You can refresh and stop the renderer and of course move across the 3D space. The item preview window is where you can see the main texture of the item you have selected. The node editor is where you can visualize all the connections between the different items. For example, you can assign materials directly in here instead of using the item panel. Finally, the project stats is where you can find all kinds of information about the performance of the scene and the project. All of these windows will be used and explained further during the next videos. When you create a new project, you have three different templates that will help you start a new scene. You can start from an empty project. This is the default configuration as if you just opened Voxel Studio. You will add elements from scratch. If you click refresh in the 3D view, you can only see the skybox because there are no items yet. By clicking workspace with materials, you basically create a simple flat terrain so you can start building right away using the default materials. Third one is the Terrain Creation Wizard. It will guide you through a process of creating a continent based on pictures. These three setups are just a way to start a project at any time you can decide to customize, replace, delete or add elements to your project. Voxel Studio comes with default textures, meshes and prefabs in its original folders. You can copy some of them elsewhere to help you create your own set of textures. In the templates folder, you can find default textures. Some are used by the procedural system of terrain when you create a smart biome. And some are simply used by default building materials. In the meshes folder, you have all the meshes used by the prefab system. The actual prefabs are located in the default library folder.